I do the same myself. Ugh. Oh man. All right. Here, here's where the, here's where the, here's where the line draws. Who do I show the poem to? I don't know. Who, who do I, who do I show it to? Do I show it to Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, or Monica? Like me and Sayori had like a thing just now. Me and her had a thing where it was just like we were super connected. Like I touched her boobs. It was pretty sweet. But Yuri's all like, I care about you and I want to make sure that you're taken care of. Even though you're an idiot, I want you to read books. And this is her touching my face, that kind of thing. <laughs> like Natsuki just freaking hates me, obviously, because she's like, he's a douchebag. He doesn't like anime, although I secretly do. So I don't know who do I pick. Uh, like I'm in, I'm in, a, I'm in a bind right here because I'm like, I'm leaning towards Yuri, but Sayori is being very, very like super, super girlfriendy. But we both clarified the fact that we don't want anything. We just want to be friends and everything like that. So I should probably continue to pursue Yuri, but Sayori is really, really sweet, and I don't want, and she does the thing that I like. So I don't know who to pick. So we can already scratch out Natsuki and Monica. I don't like I'm not I don't have anything to add to them. So it's right now it's between Sayori and Yuri. Uh This is tough. Hmm. I can't, I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Because that moment I had with, with uh, Sayori was really sweet. But, like, I like every moment that I have with Yuri. She's really, she's really nice. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't know! I don't know! Hmm. This is hard. See, this is why I'm glad I'm not, I'm not, like, a stud muffin who gets lots of chicks. Because I would hate to have to ha deal with this predicament, like, all the time. You know? I can just, like, focus on one woman, I'm good. Not like, I got racks on racks and racks of ladies to have them to choose from. So. Mm. Uh, I think I'm going to go with Yuri. Yeah, I'm going to go with Yuri. Yuri it is. Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Oh. Mm. Yuri stares at the poem. <laughs> I see you wrote it in crayon. <laughs> I didn't write it in crayon. I just, you know... I figured I'd give my poem a little color. A minute passes more... More than enough for time for her to finish the reading. Um... Oh. S sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Uh, um. It's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. It sucks! Just waiting for her to break the news. It's like, this is terrible. I guess that, that I guess that it might be after reading it, though. Oh, so it's that bad? No! Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that I, it's been several minutes and we haven't really even gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while before she gets used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most notable thing I recognize in new writing is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they try to they tend to pick up a writing style separate from their topic matter and form if and they form fit 
into two together. The end result is both the styled and the expression that are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it is as if a demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of, of course, that can't. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased how? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or to me, or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts and process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamingly as of a rare opportunity for her, which itself is kind of funny. And after all that, this is supposed to be a literature club. Okay. Let's see. Ghost Under the Light. The tendons of my hair illuminate... I, that's hard to read. <laughs> it's in cursive! God, I'm stupid! <laughs> I can't read cursive! Okay. Uh, the tendons of my hair illuminate... Uh, be beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time the last yet to be replaced by this the, the flickering blue green hue of the future i bathe calling bathing air of the present but living in the past the light flickers i flicker back that was really hard to read stupid cursive Um, I'm sorry, I have so- How did she know? <laughs> How did she know? <laughs> I thought it was just me because I was being dumb, but she said she has bad hair. You know something I don't know, game? Be up front with me. How did she know that I thought the handwriting was bad? <laughs> Uh-oh. This is cre- the Okay, alright. That's not weird. That's not weird. How did she know, though? What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took... It took you a long time to... Oh, hey. How did... Okay. But it took you a long time to read. It's because I'm dumb, remember? Ah. <laughs> well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> pretty bad. Oh! I'm just, wait a minute, I'm trying to get with her. What am I doing? Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh, <laughs> Actually, this story is about a ghost. It isn't about a ghost at all, Benchez. Really? Must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, after all. But remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than just tell a simple story, or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is the only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in the last remaining places of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn than putting it that way. 
I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Aw. Alright. So I showed it to Yuri. Who should I show it to now? Should I show it to... I guess I don't... I guess I have no other option. I should show it to Sayori. I mean, aside from Yuri, like, she was the only other one I wanted to show it to. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to show it to all of them, but... Should I... Should I, should I immediately go with Sayori, or should I do Natsuki or Monica first? Hmm... Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Let's let's do Natsuki. I, I I figured it'd be best to get Natsuki out of the way, so let's do Natsuki. Uh. Well, it's about what I expected for someone like you. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I just didn't evoke any emotion. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. <sighs> Well, anyways, I guess it's, I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. <laughs> All right, let's see what let's see what Natsuki wrote. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> that poem's great, and it's in handwriting I can actually read. Yeah. I told you that you weren't gonna like it. I like it. It was simple and it was fun. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that I'm writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make wouldn't make your messages any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around here doing great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about the simple writing is that it puts me more weight on my wordplay. Like I set up a rhyme and at the end I that blah, 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 roll it back. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. But it helps bring out the feeling of the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from a youngster one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take anything away from her. All right. So next up we have, you know what? I think I'm just gonna leave Sayori for last. Let's do Monica. Monica, read my poem! Hi, Benches. Having a good time so far? Oh yeah, this has been fun. Oh yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Benches. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I handed Monica my poem. 
Mm-hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you two had short, uh... I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well... We may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm. Well, that may be the case. But maybe there are some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like you two really care about each other or well-being. Even if you show different ways, it ends up being more similar than you'd think. So I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not reading too much into this? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, I sound like Yuri. But in that case, Sayori's writing, ha Sayori's writing has kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew something like something... Who knew some... that? Oh god. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy saying things so sad too? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying out different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find that style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of style. But it always helps you find what suits you most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Well, don't worry, I'm not very good. I'll be the judge of that. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Oh man, this one is long. Hole in the wall! It, it wouldn't have been me... See the direction that sparkles produce a noisy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know it wasn't home. I peer inside uh, for a clue. No, I can't see the real. I can't see. I real blind like a film lot out in the sea. But it's too late. My retinas are already searched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. Let's see. Searching forever into everything. A hole in infinite choices. I realize now that I was locking in. I was locking out. And he on the other side was looking in. Looking in. Not looking out. I'm locking. Okay. So what do you think? Uh, that was deep. Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really into the person ask. I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's kind of a style that's gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on t theming between them, and the words and the lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure how, if, if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that it's had some kind of uh, empathy on recently. It's been influencing in my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about it, deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming out on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's handwriting tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Tidy it up. Tidy it up. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, You'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. 
So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right. I'm learning stuff. I'm learning. All right. So I guess Sayori is the last one who will read our poem. And then we will read hers. Sayori, what do you got? Oh my goodness. This is so good, Benches. Eh? I love it. I had no idea where you were such a good writer. Now I know you tripping. Everybody else is like, yeah, you could use some work. Why did you write it in crayon? It's upside down. <laughs> Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like. <laughs> I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was the most constructive, that is. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Uh, well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people. You know. So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a Benches poem. Trademark. And it makes me feel extra special. I like that I can f I like that I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet up against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. <laughs> I'm really happy you just I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me that how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention that the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like I said before, Benchez. Deep down, you're the, you're not selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something only a really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah! I'm going to make sure that you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright. I'm going to hold you to that, then. Yeah! Now you'll read my poem, too, right? Don't worry. I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Alright. Hers is a little bit more legible. Alright. Dear Sunshine, The way you glow through my, through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepies from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you testing me to wish away a rainy day? To wish away, wish away a rainy day? I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If I wasn't for you, I couldn't sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want, I want breakfast. <laughs> it was all deep and it was just like, I want breakfast. <laughs> breakfast? Please. <laughs> Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until the morning to write this? <laughs> no. J just a little bit. You can answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. <laughs> She's doing the thing again. She's doing the thing again. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still tried my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say anything. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice. Or how or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. <laughs> Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. <laughs> I love that face. I love that face. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Hey, <laughs> That was so much fun. Monica's the best. Ah, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. 
There was a little bit more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone was judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even though they just they were just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They are giggling, they're, they're gingerly exchanging sheets of paper and sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I, want, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's this? What's with this language? Eh? Did you say something? Uh, it, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem on the, to the desk in one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy? Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about feelings. It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that not? How can that be cute? I, I I know that. I just meant the language. I guess. I was really trying to say something nice. Eh. Uh, you mean you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I didn't really come that. Thanks, but it really didn't come out that nice at all. Um. Well, I do have a couple of suggestions. Hmm. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Sari liked it. And Benches did, too. So based on that, I'll gladly give some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate that offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Bench has liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Uh-oh. They're gonna fight over me! They're gonna fight over me! Ladies. Ladies. Please. Continue fighting over me. <laughs> I wrote my poem in crayon, and these laurels love me! Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh! I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I... Uh, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Benches appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that fool of yourself? I... I... No. I, if I was full of myself, I wouldn't deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overtly cutesly. Ooh! Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the... I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as benches started showing up. They, girls get ladies ladies increase their boob size because of me I am the cure for small boobaroos ladies talk to me I will help you <laughs> Natsuki um Natsuki that's a little this doesn't involve you I don't like fighting guys Suddenly, both girls towards, turn towards me as if they noticed I was standing there. Benchez, she, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn how to appreciate that simple writing would be more effective. Than it would have if it happened in the first place. What's the point of making your poems all convoluted for no reason? The meanings should jump out to the reader and not force them to have to figure it out. Help me explain that to her, Benches! Wait. There's a reason why we have so many deep, expressive words in our language. It's the only way to con convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste.
He must understand that.